Hey guys, so today I'll be making a red velvet cake. Firstly, we need to make buttermilk. So add two and a half tablespoon of vinegar into one and a half cup of full cream milk. Mix it and keep it aside. There will be cuts forming up but that's just fine. So next up, I'll be making the flour mixture which is three cups of wheat flour, quarter cup of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of baking soda, half tablespoon of baking powder and quarter teaspoon of salt. Save it to make sure there's no clumps in it. For the batter, I'll be beating 150 grams of butter till it becomes pale or until smooth. Then you can also scrap the bottom to make sure there's no clumps. Then add one and a half cup of caster sugar and beat it till it's smooth. Then add two eggs one by one. So at this point, you can slow down the beater to make sure it doesn't overbeat. Next, add two teaspoons of vanilla essence. So at this point, slow down the beater and add the sieved flour mixture followed by buttermilk till finish at intervals. Make sure the flour doesn't splash on you. So keep the beater slow and do not overbeat it. Finally, put in the food coloring which is red and I have used 3 teaspoons of red colouring with 1.5 tablespoon of vinegar. So give it a nice mix to make sure all the colour has incorporated into the batter. So I've actually grease up the pan and put in flour. So as you can see, I'll be adding the batter into two different pans. And at this point, I realized that those two pans are too big. So I had to transfer it into some two, two smaller pans. And I made the cream cheese frosting. Uh, well, I won't be putting up the recipe, but you can Google it. I'm not good at putting on frost with egg. it's just so bad it's just so messy but at last the cake tasted good so the looks didn't matter and I made these grooves with the cake cutting knife and lastly my mom cut it for Mother's Day and this cake was specially for her. And there you have it. Red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. Have fun trying! <laughs>